guys and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2019 battle series. I hope you're all doing well. We kicked off this week with this Sogaleo Zygarde team that you can see on your screen. And as I said at the start of the week, what we want to try and do is go through this week's games and analyze the team, see and make out what things we're struggling against and then tech against them going into next week and put our own spin on the team and make it a really solid finished article with our own twist on it come next Friday. So hopefully it'll be a lot of fun going along and doing that as we go through the matches this week we've had some incredible games so far to kick us off this week if you missed any of them i'll put a, a card up here for you all so you can go and check those out and uh, without further ado we'll just get into it today guys let's put some music on and uh, hop on to the battle spot ladder but as always if you do enjoy this sort of content make sure that you do drop a like on the video make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these daily episodes as well as a guide series a flinch squad circuit and uh, live streams that we have and just to let you know as well I have mentioned this already this week but we are currently working on our ultra series guides so they will drop at any point after the ultra series kicks into effect very soon so we've got a first opponent of the day and I think it's a repeat from earlier in this so it's like a game three isn't it against a Doguken and he is playing a team of a Xerneas Kyogre Cartana, Amoongus, Ludicolo, and Incineroar. So hopefully we can have a more success again against this team here. We need to utilize the Toxicroak for sure. It's so good in this game against the Kyogre, the Cartana, even the, the Ludicolo and the Xerneas. It does so much work. Um, we need to protect ourselves against the Amoongus with its um, Rage Powder and its Spore. So the, the Spore is the one thing that really does give us a lot of issues. Um, I think I probably want to bring... Do I want to bring Incineroar as well for the double fake out? Because Incineroar can be good against Cartana, but again, we've got Sogaleo to kind of fall back on in that situation if we need to. So, um, I think we'll lead Tapu Fini. And we'll go Sogaleo. We'll bring Toxicroak and then Zygarde in the back and go with that same four. Straight out of team preview and wait for our opponent to pick their team. Um, but yes, so it's been a lot of fun with this team so far. Um, I'm looking forward to maybe making some changes up. We did say in our previous episode that the Venusaur slot is one thing that we could look at maybe changing. We're not bringing it. You're not really thinking about it too much, even in team preview. So it is a bit of a dead slot at the moment. It does have a lot of utility. Um, but one of the things I would say is where it was very good at checking Groudon. It's maybe not so much anymore because of the, the popularity of Volcaron are now pairing with that Groudon and hopefully we can bump into a few of those teams to see how we can match up against them and going into the, the, the later stages of this this um, this testing phase with the team. So we're going to see Kyogre and Ludicolo come out for my opponent. We are going to see the rain activated and then uh, we've got Tapu Fini out on the field with our Sogaleo here. So I think what we'll do is straight away we will go for a... what do we want to do? Nature's Madness? into Kyogre and switch into Toxicroak. If this one's a quick one, we might get three games today, you never know. So let's see what my opponent decides to go for here with this fast offensive lead that they've got. I just feel so comfortable with Toxicroak in the back, especially with Tapu Fini. I'm gonna see a fake out coming out and it is into that Toxicroak slot, which reveals actually a life orb and a thunder now coming out from Kyogre. Gonna attack straight hard into that Tapu Fini now and do some good damage to it, taking it down to 50% health, but we are gonna get a Nature's Madness into that slot and uh, pick up some good damage in return. Trade blow for blow here as we take it down to about 50% health a dry skin activating on our toxicroak so healing up all that health and i think it's probably a good time to get in our zygarde and go for a poison jab into that ludicolo because if we see another thunder come out from this kyogre it's going to be into that type of finny we want to try and protect that for later in the game get our zygarde in resist that thunder um, it's just if we see for some reason my opponent predicting that and seeing like an I like going for an ice beam into that slot or even a, a, a water spout wouldn't be ideal or a hydro vortex into that s slot. Um, this is I got here wouldn't be the end of the world but it's, it's losing resource so early on that we don't need to uh, that wouldn't be great but I think we'll probably be quite safe so we'll get Zygot onto the field activate that misty Seed, get that special defensive boost. We're going to see a knockoff actually come out from the Ludicolo into the Toxicroak here. I'm going to say, going to target down the Toxicroak with a Thunder this turn. We'll be able to remove this Ludicolo though, and there's no threat of us getting paralyzed from this Thunder from the Kyogre here as uh, it does do a chunk of damage. I mean, a critical hit there is really unfortunate for us. It's like the one thing that we don't want to be seeing right there. 
Um, which is really frustrating, but never mind. Um, we do get some dry skin health back though, which is always useful. We have lost our salt vest. The knockoff tech there is really nice on the Ludicolo. Um, it's good for getting rid of assault vests on things like Toxicroak, Antiveltals and other things, so on and so on. Uh, we are going to actually see Cortana come onto the field now, which is an interesting pick for my opponent, um, as we can just go, I think we'll just go for that 1000 arrows, and do we switch back into Tapu Fini here? Yeah, I want to keep Sogaleo if I can, because I do feel like the Xerneas is probably lurking in the back, although the Xerneas was there, you'd feel like it comes out now, put a lot more pressure onto the Zygarde, let's see a smart strike though from the Cartana, this might be enough to get the, the Fini, give it a beast boost. Oh, we survive! We survive the Kalks <laughs> coming in clutch uh, for our Finny here. We are going to see a uh, Watarium Z. Not what we want to see. Not what we want to see at all. Hmm. I don't know if Zygarde takes this. Plus one. I really don't. I really don't know if we do take it. The Cartana is going to be a bit scary to deal with as well. I mean, really critical hit. <sighs> oh, there's no words, is there? There's no words. I want to do the calc on that, actually. I'm going to just quickly do it. I'm going to see uh, Kyogre. Zygarde. It might make me feel a bit better. Terium Z against plus one. We're pretty bulky. Yeah, we take that. We take that 100% of the time. So that crit did matter. Doesn't make me feel any better now, though, but never mind. Uh, we've got the fake out. We can go for the fake out, I think, and just an icy wind into that Cortana and Kyogre and slow everything down. We're going to see the Kyogre switch out now. Uh, the Amoongus come in through the field, so uh, we need to make sure that we are. We are keeping our terrain around for, for the Amoongus and to deal with that because that thing can become quite scary if we don't deal with it properly. <sighs> we do get the Icy Wind onto the Cartana and the Amoongus, which is nice. We get some more dry skin health restored here. Um, and I'm going to go for a Drain Punch into the Cartana. I'm going to switch in Sogaleo now. Hopefully you target down the Tapu Fini here. But I imagine you probably target down the Toxicroak because of how easy it has a time against the, the Kyogre. We're going to see Rage Powder. Leaf Blade, it is gone for the Finny, so that's fine. I mean, we get away with that this turn. Is that another crit? No, no, that's just general damage. Drain Punch, I mean, any health here is good health, isn't it? So Toxicroc, we need to try and keep. We'll get some rain has stops and no more dry skin. No more dry skin inch. Um, okay, so we'll bring in Tapu Fini. Toxicroc, get this terrain back up in effect. Um, uh, I can't go super power yet. I need to go Sunsteel Strike into the Amoongus. And I think... The thing is, though, this Cortana feels like it probably got knockoff. I mean, it's not going to do too much to us, but at the same time, it's still going to do some damage. I'm just going to protect the Sogaleo this turn. Yeah, it's just going to continually rage part of the Amoongus. It's a bit of a pain. There's a smart strike. Oh, what? Okay. Not so good, not so good, not so good. Um, okay. I mean, if we can swagger Sogaleo. Uh, we're just going to have to Sunsteel Strike the Amoongus. I can't bring in Toxicroc here. I just can't. Yeah, it's just going to Rage Powder again. Hopefully this Amoongus doesn't have, like, one of those Super Berries. Because we're likely to proc it here, which will take even longer to take it down, which makes it even more difficult to deal with this Cortana. Because it's going to get a beast boost. 
regardless. Okay, we don't proc yet. It's just going for this mod strike. The longer it's not going for this knockoff into a Hasogaleo, the better, really. Um, it does get the beast boost, of course. But we do have an opportunity now where we can fake it out and go for the Sunsteel Strike into the Amoongus. And get rid of this Amoongus once and for all. Does open in the door for the Kyogre to come back in. Okay, Cartana actually revealing Detect, which is quite interesting. So good job we didn't fake out and double target into that slot. I was considering it, thinking that it was potentially going to have uh, the Assault Vest, but it definitely doesn't. And it doesn't have Knock Off then, which is, which is also very, very good for us. Um, hmm. Still going to be very, very difficult to close this one out. Um, because we potentially we really need the fake out now, um, and we need to utilize wide guard. Toxic Rock is not taking. Um, I mean, one thing we could do is go go sucker punch into the Kyogre and then go for the Z move into Carton, and hope we don't see an Origin Pulse. Wow, we actually outspeed Cartana. No, we don't. <laughs> this is the Cartana. No, we do. Did we get nice? What? I don't understand this. This means Toxicroak has a free, free reign now. As long as I. What? I don't. Oh, this is. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Okay. Hmm. There's a thunder. It's gone into Toxic Rock. This will probably take us down. Well, it will take us down. Yeah. Because it's just always critical hitting. It's like the ultimate Kyogre. Never stops critting. <laughs> Ever. Ever stops critting. Well, Super Power, that should be enough to get the Kyogre from this range. Um, and that should steal up the game. And somehow, like I honestly thought we'd lose this after that critical hit. Hydro Vortex into a Zygarde. But... Um, we actually managed to survive, so that's that's really good for us. Really good. Ah, good game to my opponent, and um, a bit of an exciting one for us to kick off with today. And even though the RNG gods were not shining down on us very kindly in that match, we managed to still come through, and that says a lot about a team, I think. So, um, very good. Right, let's get into our next one super quickly and uh, brush off that that old RNG and. Um, get into our next one it's gonna be exciting so yes nearly 1600 now it's only taken half the week to get up to this point but um, I'll be playing streams and stuff in between now and next week so we'll be we'll be well up high by then so yes but like I mentioned earlier in the week as well we've not got long left in the moon series so if you would like to see any sort of teams calls or anything like that played before we do end up and go into the ultra series make sure you do drop your comments down below and uh, let me know what you'd like to see played so we can arrange that for the last couple of weeks in the moon series but we've got our next opponent ban and Ban is playing a QR code team. It consists of Kai Ogre, Ludicolo, Incineroar, Lunala, Ferrothorn, and Tepcoco. We're not seeing hardly any Groudons these days, are we? I wonder if they're all just further up the ladder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. But what are we going to do here? We've got Kyogre, Lunala as the restricted pair here. You've got that combination of Ludicolo there with a the fake-out support, support and be very fast and offensive with that Kyogre that's potentially scarfed. Yeah, you've got the Incineroar that's also got fake-out support. Um, good switch in for Lunala. You've got a Trick Rune check in Ferrothorn. And the Tapu Koko there. I do feel like... Um, Zygarde is going to be very good here. We need to be very careful around the Ludicolo Kyogre, but we can bring Toxicog to try and check that to a certain extent. I definitely want... I really want Incineroar in this match, if I'm really honest, because it, we need it for... Oh, we don't need it. It does help out against the Ferrothorn quite a lot, where we could rely on Sogaleo a bit more. I think what we'll do is lead off with Sogaleo and Finny. Toxicog 
and Zygarde like we have been doing and find a lot of success with that kind of combination. We'll get into this next one and see how we get on. It's been, I am really enjoying this team though. I really do love Zygarde. We haven't seen as much of Zygarde as I would have liked. <laughs> a bit unfortunate in that last one. We might have seen a bit more of it, but I do really like Zygarde. I mean, Zogleo with the Phytinium Z is kind of stealing the show at the minute. Um, Lunala's a little bit of a difficult matchup still for us. We just need to be very careful with what we're doing in front of Lunala and make sure that we are um, approaching it correctly because Losing Sogaleo in this matchup is not going to be great for us at all. Um, and Z move could come out. I mean, easy pick up the KO. So I think straight away we want to um, to try and get around that if we can. Problem is though, um, we haven't got Incineroar to help us out here, which is a little bit tricky. And we could bring in Zygarde. And we could go Icy Wind. Yeah, I think that's not a bad play. And then if we can get the Icy Wind off, get Zygarde in, we can heal Pulse the next turn if we see Z move into that slot. Power Construct should activate if we do see that as well. Hopefully you see the Fake Out into that slot. No, it is into the Finny. That's not where we wanted to see in Tailwind go up, but that's not the worst. That is not the worst at all. Mm. Okay. Um, do we coil? I think we just thousand hours here just to get some damage on stuff, and I think we swagger as well. The Zygarde. I don't feel comfortable going for the icy wind now with the tailwind up because it's kind of pointless. If my opponent switches something in here, a U turns out. Um, they're still going to outspeed us the next turn, so it's almost like a dead turn almost for us because. We do break the Shadow Shield on the Lunala, but at the same time, we're not really gaining much momentum by going Icy Wind. Might have been better going for Nature's Madness than a thousand hours into the Lunala, but at the same time, I kind of want to just get as much damage off as I can with this Tapu Fini. We're not going to see a switch out, so it's likely we're going to see a U turn from this Incineroar. We are going to see the Z move though from this Lunala. Where is it going to be into? We know that Finn takes this pretty comfortably. And we'll have to cut out this, guys. So, and it is into the Tapu Finny here. Can we take it? That is the big question. We should be able to... Oh, we take it 12 HP, just hanging on. So we are going to be able to get this Swagger and 1,000 hours off as we see the Incineroar now go for the U-turn into the Zygarde. It's going to reposition itself, but as long as that Swagger hits, anything coming in is not going to enjoy this plus 2,000 hours from our Zygarde. So that is big big bonus for us tapu coco of all the things normally you'd be like yeah this is great this is great we didn't want to see the thousand hours but because swagger it's not on misty terrain anymore <laughs> oh there's always a chance that we could uh, hit ourselves in confusion but come on zygod pull through do it for the team we did it <laughs> we did it We'll take down the Coco and do some nice damage to that Lunala in the process. Wow, okay. Not so ideal, really. Um, not having the Incineroar in this match is proving to be very difficult for us because we really need a switch in for whatever this Lunala is deciding to do. The Kyogre now going to hit the field. With this Electric Terrain up as well, it is extremely threatening. So... Um, I'm going to protect Zygarde. I'm going to switch Finny out and bring in Toxicroc. It could be the crux of our game here, but I mean, we've got to do something to readjust at this point. And I think, I don't know if we see a Psy Shock into Tapu Finny. I mean, we might do, but I feel like you probably want to concentrate more on getting the Zygarde off the field right now. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm, I'm convincing myself that's what the, the, the best play is, but it's not. And we're confused as well, which is really difficult. Oh, okay, we get through it. I mean, the reduced chance of confusion now, hitting yourself is so much better. Moonguy's Beam coming out, it is going to be into the Toxic Rock. We do take this um, better than a Psy Shock for sure. Um, and whatever the Kyogre throws out, if it is a Thunder, it's not going to be good. It's a nice Beam. Okay, so we're just, just kind of keeping our feet on the ground here. We've got Sucker Punch though that can really help us out against this Lunala and I think what we'll do is go for do we switch into Tapu Fini here? 
because you could just suck a punch. I'm going to extreme speed the Kyogre and suck a punch the Lunala. It's got to know that we've got sucker punch. So Kyle, we're going to switch out. We're going to see Incineroar come in. It's going to get the minus one. Okay. Probably lose Toxic Rock here, if I'm honest. Oh, we hit ourselves a confusion. That's not what we want to see. Sucker punch. It's not going to be enough at minus one, I don't think. No, we needed the just yeah the intimidate there being huge for my opponent. Okay. We are going to lose Toxicroak, which is a little bit unfortunate. But that Tailwind does pitter out. They've got a perfect opportunity to get it set up this next turn, though. Um, but I'm going to bring in Sogaleo now. And I'm going to go for this Thousand Arrows. And I'm going to go for the Sunsteel Strike into the Lunala. So we can, we can double tap that slot. You can only fake out one thing, and if you go for the Tailwind, that's fine, but we get you take down the Lunala, which is the big thing hindering our Sogaleo at the minute. And we can definitely stall out these Tailwind turns. It's just the Ice Beam on the Kyogre. It's a little bit awkward to deal with, isn't it? Fake out coming out into Sogaleo. We're going to say Tailwind, yep. Hopefully we snap out of confusion. I feel like it's a turn we do snap out of confusion. No! Come on, Zygarde, do it for the team. Yes! We do it for the team! Do we take down the Incineroar? We do, probably. A plus one? <sighs> so close. Oh, if we'd taken that down as well, that would have been insanely good for us. Never mind. We just proc a berry, so that's alright. It goes back up to full health. Just about anywhere. Half over half health, I should say. And then the Kyle is gonna come on. And now our job is to stall out. Stall out. Hmm. Has it got the Z move? I mean we could play a bit safer just to just to, to see if it has. Switch in Finny. For Sogaleo now. Hmm. We do lose access to the wide guard by switching it out, but at the same time, if we wide guard and it Z moves, I can't Z move. Lunala had the Z move, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm losing my mind here, I'm losing my mind. I'm sorry, guys. We're getting the, the Misty Terrain up and getting rid of that Electric Terrain is useful. And we do eventually snap out of confusion as soon as that Misty Terrain comes in. Is it a coincidence or what? And there's a water spot, so we could have wide guarded there. The Finny goes down here. If we see a knock off a knock off into that slot. Yeah. Okay, that, that's perfect. I mean we're gonna get Sogaleo back in. Um that's fine. <laughs> we can wide guard. We can wide guard here. How many turns of tailwind have we got left? Two. Okay. It's a thousand arrows. Then wide guard. And we gotta hope that that Kyogre's locked in and it doesn't deviate from the water spout. Yeah, it's got water spout. Excellent. Perfect. So that's it now. No profits. Okay, into Zygarde, that's fine. We'll get the Incineroar and do so much damage to that Kyogre, it's not gonna matter anymore. Uh, we can just extreme speed Z move it this next turn and that will be fine as the rain does stop anyway. And that should be game for ourselves. Which is excellent news for us guys. As we're back to old winning ways. Well, we haven't really stopped winning have we? So and there's a the forfeit. So that wraps it up for today guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's been really great. Thank you so much to my opponents in today's episode and good game to both both players there. Um, it's been a bit of a, an up and down one but we managed to come out on the good side of all of them and we've had some tough matches as well. So we'll go into tomorrow and after tomorrow's episode is when we reevaluate for the weekend and we make some changes coming into next week and start tweaking things to our liking a little bit. Even though most of the spreads, well all of the spreads 
in on this team on my own um, the move sets I've chosen my own um, obviously uh, there are the standard ones out there but I have put this together it's just a common six that you're gonna see normally played together but I do feel like the Venusaur slot is the one that we can get rid of sorry Venusaur um, but yes um, if you've got any suggestions on let me know and uh, we can totally take those forward with us but we'll end it there guys thank you so much for tuning in have a great evening morning afternoon and night whatever time of day it is wherever you are take care of yourselves and we'll see you for the next one so until then bye bye